have news. Watch. <laughs> So meet this cute robot. Factory robots always end up so cute. Nothing beats Wally though. He came from a Silicon Valley startup company known as Willow Garage, who now started their very own spin-off company named Unbounded Robotics. When they were still Willow Garage, their first robot was the PR2. He was too armed, could do anything from picking things up off the floor to serving you a drink, but his cost was 400000 not uncommon in the world of robotics. UBR1 costs a fraction of that, 35,000. I call him he because he deserves it. Robots are cute. He is smaller, one-armed, and far more sophisticated. He is suited to do a lot of things, a lot more than PR2 did, from aiding academic researchers to simple automated tasks like stocking shelves, inspecting products, and logging production. UBR can see where he was going, move himself about, and manipulate objects with that arm of his. It has a gripper on the end and seven different degrees of freedom. Performing so many tasks with one arm instead of two took away a lot of the cost. Another thing the company did was incorporate commodity sensors, such as a 3D camera with tech based upon the Microsoft Kinect. Just to compare, the PR2 used $5,000 worth of cameras, and the Kinect for the UBR is $150. Wally! UBR! Not the same. Speaking of Microsoft, that big fat giant of a software company is rumored to be in prototype mode for their very own high-tech glasses. You know, I'm really happy about this. Microsoft seems to always be late to the game. And when they did try releasing a wearable in 2004, which was a smartwatch, and that was an experiment I bet they learned from. Or hope so. Why not jump into the wearable industry? Can't afford not to. And if this actually materializes, they sure as heck better do their best to drive consumer interest. Google glasses are releasing soon. First of all, the Kinect glasses were dubbed Project Forteleza, and some images showed Wi-Fi or 4G internet connected eyewear with augmented reality. I've been in my brain about this lately. Are we all gonna be wearing these soon? I sure as heck don't imagine many people I know, tech people in fact, buying a $1,500 pair of smart glasses. But then I had like a realization thing. Everyone I know, except this one rad friend of mine who still has a landline and also my grandma, has a fancy ass phone. So like any tech, one day you think, that's extravagant, I don't need it. And the next, you've got an LED TV larger than an elephant in your living room. Just saying. Three years ago, Apple unveiled the original iPad. Look how many they've gone through. Apple be crazy. Four iPads later, we have such a light and thin little butte, it makes the older ones seem boxy and heavy by comparison. First time since the iPad 2, this is a brand new design. Its shape is new, weighs just one pound, 0.4 pounds lighter than the previous gens. That's 20%, and for a thing that small to begin with, I think that's a huge deal, man. It still has that same 9.7 inch display though. The processor is updated too, the same you'll find in the iPhone 5S. It's eight times faster than the first gen and graphics are 72 times faster than the first iPad gen. It also has that M7 motion co-processor going along with it just like iPhone 5. Camera, bleh. Cameras on iPad models are outdated as heck. It is laughable to see people hold up their iPad like a camera. Apparently, that makes you a pad hole. I never knew that. I doubt anyone knows that. Why do they constantly have to be making things thinner? I'm just wondering. I swear, Apple just makes stuff and makes stuff and never stops making new ones. Evil geniuses. Hater or fanboy? You gotta give credit where credit's due, I guess. Apple put a lot of things out on the market. Ideas that they seem to have just picked out of the air. Did you know Apple had its own clothing line in the 80s? <laughs> and now it's time for... What? What? Tens of thousands of idiots downloaded Grand Theft Auto 5 PC installer. Yes, 
Users out there are clearly eager to get their hands on GTA 5, even more when it comes to the PC. So much so that these thousands of players were willing to download a huge 18 gig file that promised to be the game. And guess what happened next? They installed it, and then their computers had all sorts of STDs. And no game, by the way. It also has become clear that these are the same people that tested if their iPhones were waterproof with the iOS 7 update. I bet some of you heard about this non-news this week, and if so, I'm utterly sorry to be repeating it for you. The new gold iPhone is known as the Kardashian phone now for some reason. Must make impolite statements. Does this iPhone have a big booty and a so-so face? <laughs> Has the iPhone developed the ability to scream when a Kardashian takes a selfie? I sure hope so. But being serious, if this really was the Kardashian phone, it would cost a fortune to maintain, be completely empty inside, and not work a single day it was on. Finally, I think calling it a Shaw phone would be more appropriate. But here's a twerking robot. Did you like that? So that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Tune in next Friday where I will be dressed up. I'm going to go get cracking on that costume. The more ridiculous, the better. You know what I'm saying? <laughs>